All right, so it's time to, re to reclaim some screens. A uh, couple steps for this and things that we do here, or at least what I do at Thinking, to help make the process a little bit easier. Uh, first of all, the tank, we got the filters. We have the dip tank to put the screens in. We let them soak a little bit. I put in two in there right now, let them soak. Uh, we've got a vacuum here uh, to help vacuum out the screens. Pressure washer, our stock screens that we're going through, and a couple things. So typically when we come in here, we'll do a set of screens, at least eight, hopefully more at one time. Uh, when we do, I'll put in two screens in the dip tank let them sit for a couple minutes. I put uh, this container full of water on top to submerge the screens, make sure they are fully submerged so that the entire emulsion surface is covered. Uh, not too deep because I don't want to mash it into the sediment that's at the bottom of that tank, which should be cleared out about every year or two uh, and drained out and taken out the sediment. Uh, we'll let it sit for a little bit. Um, the chemicals I'm using is this. Easy Strip, we take one quart of Easy Strip to five quarts of water, go into that tank. And you'll know when it starts to either uh, go start becoming weak where it's not reclaiming very well, or the fluid level of the tank drops down where it's not covering the screen where you need to replenish it. Um, we'll fill that up if we need to. Uh, then we have a haze remover, which is this stuff, Easy Solve. And that is used straight. That's what's in this container, and we'll go through that. Uh, lights are on, uh, the pump is on when it, uh, water starts to go through it. So let's start the process. I want to drain off some of the liquid so I'm not getting it all over the place. Set it in here. Again, I'm going to start on the outside of the screen, not the inside. I'm going to start on the outside. As soon as I put it in there, put another one on the far side, because I'm always working with the screen that's closest to the tank. Put this on the far side. So my next screen in progression is the one that's been in there the longest. I'm going to start with the pressure washer. All tape and any uh, anything else on here should be taken off. Tape is not good in the in the filtration system, so you got to keep that clean. Uh, for this, we're going to start at the top and work our way down. Make sure I do both sides because just doing the one side doesn't get all the emulsion off. It'll leave a little bit of a haze or ghost. So I always want to do both sides. I can get close up to it if I need to, uh, but I want to get all the emulsion out at this step. The next step is the haze remover. I'm going to put uh, four or five squirts all over the screen and uh, concentrate on the image area that was on there last. Scrub it on both sides. Give it a good scrub and I'm going to put it to the side to sit for a minute. Just squirting on one side. I use this brush that's always here. This is always laying so that the uh, brush is not flat. It's always on the side. I don't want it flat. I don't want to cross contaminate and bring stuff onto the screen. All right, this takes about uh, 30 seconds to a minute to uh, activate. So I'm just going to put this off to the side. Meanwhile, that gives me time to reclaim the next screen. We'll again, let it drain.
When I scrub the back side, I'm not turning the screen over and laying it down. Otherwise, it's making contact with the ledge. I don't want that. So I'm always going to keep the screen side. I'm going to keep the screen side away and work, work on it that way. All right, by the time I'm done with that, the first screen is ready to go. I'm going to bring it back in here. I'm going to do everything in reverse. On reclaiming, we work on the outside of the screen and work from the top down. On the uh, ghost image, we're going to work on the inside of the screen and work from the bottom up. If you work from the top down, you're going to lock in the chemical. You're not going to get rid of the haze. You have to work from the bottom up. sure I get everything off so there's no suds. I don't want big drips coming off the top here. Uh, that's going to contaminate the screen so that when I go to coat and burn the next screen it's going to have problems. So I want to get this and check, use the technique of just blasting out everything but not saturating it. Again, drain it, vacuum it, I'm vacuuming on both sides of the screen, going horizontal and vertical. I don't want the vacuum nozzle touching at least the bottom frame because that's where the sud, the chemicals are, and all I'm doing is pulling that back into the frame. I'm going to set this off to the side. Before I do that though, I'm going to wipe down, grip the entire frame, wipe it down so that no drips go back onto the uh, screen mesh. And again, by this time, the first, this other screen is ready to go. From the bottom up, on the inside. This is what I don't want. Drips running down when I finish this. Get a lot of back spray and splatter back on the screen. I got to clear that off. The purpose of the vacuum is to pull out the moisture in the screen. It helps it dry much faster and helps get rid of any contaminants. All right, so I've got two screens off to the side. I've got two more in the tank ready to go. I forgot to put the other screen in. Um, when I get four screens off to the side, I'll take those and put those in a dark room because I don't want them sitting here for other dust, debris, overspray to get on the screen. So I'll take those four put in the dark room uh, and I'll just keep cycling through and get done as much as I can. That's the basics of reclaiming.